visit arcademodup.com. So in this video, we're going to talk through the PlayStation 1 on Raspberry Pi. There's a little bit of differences in the games uh, based on what they supported. So I just want to go through that quickly, um, explain it a little bit so you understand it, and then also show how to set up your controls for each game so everything works like you expect. So uh, let's get started. So there was a couple different controller types for PS1. If you remember, there was the original PS1 controller. So there's a picture of it there. It had a D-pad on it. And so a lot of games were supported with just this basic controller. And then later on, they came out with the DualShock that not only had the D-pad, but it added analog controls. So you can already see where this might cause an issue. Some games use D-pad and the other games use analog. So that's what we're going to show in this video is how to swap it from one to the other to make sure that your game is supported. In addition to the controller type, they also later added what they called a multi-tap. And multi-tap is essentially a way for them to plug four controllers into the PlayStation. So some games support just the D-pad. Some games support the D-pad, or don't support the D-pad, but support the analog controls. And then um, some games support the four players and other games don't. So there's a way to toggle this on and off so you can get the games working, which again, we'll go through. If you go out to the RetroPie Wiki, they actually have a section right there, uh, the controller problem, digital analog, that really kind of explains what I just did. Um, in addition, they have a game-specific control information. You can click that link, and when you do, it'll bring up all the games and kind of explain um, what they need. This is a super simple fix. Um, you can do it in-game. You don't need a keyboard. You don't have to connect through your network. You don't have to do any of that. So I'll walk you through right now how to uh, change a game and get you going. Okay, so I've booted into Mortal Kombat here. This is obviously a, a two-player game, not a four-player game. Um, also uses the analog stick versus the D-pad. Um, so when I press the when I press the controls, nothing's working here. So we need to we need to make the configurations work uh, with the game. So to do that, I'm gonna hold down Coin and press this top middle button, and that's gonna bring me into the settings. Uh, this is basically the retro arch settings. So this is gonna take me back, and this is gonna take me forward. These bottom two buttons here. So there's a couple things I need to check or change. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the joystick and I'm gonna go down to options and press forward. And I wanna make sure this pad one and pad two are on standard, which they are, I'm good there. The other thing is I need to take this off of multi-tap. Since again, this is not a four player game, it's only a two player game. So I'm gonna turn, uh, I'm just gonna push left and right on the joystick here until that goes to disabled and then go down and make sure that the multi-tap 2 is disabled. So now we've turned off the four player on the specific game, and this is important. I'm gonna to go to the top to game options file, and I'm gonna press this forward button, the middle button here at the bottom. And when I press that, you're gonna see it saved it successfully. So essentially for this game, it saved these settings. So now I'm gonna press the back button again, and I'm gonna go down to the controls because this didn't use a uh, D-pad, it actually uses the analog so on this, I'm gonna to go to device type for user one and push right on the joystick until it says retro pad, retro pad with analog. Then go down and do the same thing for player two. Now, just cause we change this doesn't mean anything. We gotta go down and save it. And this is important as well. Do not change it to the core. If you change it to the core, it changes it for all PS1 games, which you don't wanna do. You wanna go down to save game remap file. So just for the game, again, I'm gonna press the forward key it saved that. So now my settings are good. So I can hit back, back again. And on quick menu here, I'll hit forward and then go to resume. Now my controls aren't gonna work yet because I actually have to reload the game. So I'm gonna hold down coin and press start. It's gonna take me out. And then I'm just gonna go right back in and I'll show you that here in a second once it boots up. Okay, so you can see we're ending the boot sequence here. And so now as we go into the game, I can See that, I can hit up and down on the joystick here and it's working as expected. So uh, bottom line with PS1 is you gotta kinda tweak it a little bit per game because of the changes they made. Um, as the changes they made as that system you know, got more mature and they added you know, more features to it. And that's why you have to come in here and, and make different settings and, and changes and save it just for that game. But once you do it once, uh, you're good to go.